One of the most popular reviews I have done this year came from a club, well to say I least expected it would be an understatement. Ping were releasing a chipper, well I was quite surprised. And then when I first saw it, I was quite confused. You see the first thing that is very odd about the Ping chipper is the fact that it looks nothing like a chipper. And the fact this didn't look like a chipper, well that was quite a genius move by Ping. And it's genius because quite simply most of us don't like the idea of having a chipper in the bag. And you see with the Ping chipper, well it doesn't look like we have. You see the thing is with the Ping chipper, visibly it just looks like another iron in your bag. So the question quite a lot of you have posed and hopefully we're going to answer in today's video is if this thing looks like an iron, if it's lofted the same as an iron, then why not just play an iron? So the question in today's video is quite a simple one. Is the Ping chipper overrated? So today I have brought out a 9 iron. It's got exactly the same loft as that of the chipper. And what I want to know is the question that many of you have asked is, do you really need a chipper? Or are you just as well just playing the 9 iron? Right, so we're going to start this head to head from what is a very simple and straightforward position. Now I will be reaching for the chipper in this kind of situation. So you've got a little bit of fringe to carry. We've got whatever that is, sort of 20 yards from uh, ball to flag. And I don't need any loft. All I'm looking to do is very much a uh, putter style uh, stroke, which has been really good with this chipper for me this summer. And I just want to get that ball aiming at the flag and rolling out. And although I pulled it a little bit, I'd probably be happy with that. It wasn't the greatest of shot, maybe a little bit over hit. Quite surprised at just how well the greens have run, to be honest with you. I thought they'd be a little bit slower than that. So exactly the same situation. Stood up a little bit more upright. Definitely the lie angle is different with the 9-iron than it is with the chipper. But the same stroke, really. And that seems far better. I was able to learn from the first one, take quite a bit off in terms of the chip. There's a bit of a swing there to say the least. The one thing I noticed there was if anything, even though the lofts are identical, the nine iron seems to just pop the ball up just a little bit more. And if you have taken a bit of a closer look and slow that one down again, maybe I've got that one wrong, but it seems to just pop the ball up just a little bit easier than the chipper did. That's probably surprised me a little bit. Right, next up is every golfer's worst nightmare, and that's because we've got bunker between us and the flag. We've got a lot of green to work with though, so it would be the type of situation that I'd be looking to play the ping chipper because I think we've got enough loft on it to carry what we need to and then run out on the green towards the flag. And that's what we'll be uh, trying to do first of all with the ping chipper. So no different, same old putting style and see if we can get it running towards the hole. Again, I just love how easy it picks that ball up. That's a pretty decent effort to be fair, you'd take that all day long. And again, not a great deal of height, like I said, in terms of the loft, the launch rather. You go nine iron. So, interesting enough, and I mentioned this in a lot of the videos that we've done with the ping chipper, is it's very much upright lie angle is very different than that of your nine iron. So there's an adjustment to be made, it's very much different at address. Now, I'm not saying that's a real negative, but it is noticeable. I'm not sure where I'm aiming, just a little bit wider than expected. But that's finished good as well, distance control was good. The one thing noticeably different for me again was that the 9-iron, with exactly the same loft as the chipper, the 9-iron pops the ball up just a little bit higher and hopefully you can see that if we overrun that again. Visibly to me, one launch is significantly higher than the other. I'm not saying that's a positive or a negative at this stage, but it's definitely noticeable. Right, next up is a real interesting scenario and where the chipper or the 9-iron, well, I'm not sure you'd choose either, but you're certainly now, this is where a 50-yard shot to the flag, two bunkers to cover, we're certainly gonna need some loft. And for me, somehow, this favors the 9-iron. The chipper, that low ball flight, is it gonna get the ball up and airborne enough? I don't know. But this is where the 9-iron perhaps has a little bit more flexibility. We shall see. Well, that's right on line. It's picked it up quite nice. Can't quite see the bottom of the flag, but I reckon that's quite close. The 9 iron certainly up against it, and it's interesting now with that sort of, uh, well, it's a bit of a half swing, wasn't it? That the, uh, the loft is sufficient enough to pop that ball up on the uh, chipper. And again, quite surprisingly so. 
That's a real, I think that's a tough ask to beat. Well, with that shot, I ain't gonna beat nothing because I've completely collapsed on it and we've hit it about 20 yards. Oh, I've got a ball. Right, let's try that again. I think the pressure was on there in terms of what the uh, ping chipper did. Right, try again, and Right, okay, that's a better action. Probably not as good as the chipper again. It's chasing up on there, and again, I don't think it's too far away. But what is really weird is from that situation, I found it easier with the chipper to hit a more relaxed uh, swing. I also found it again, that flatter and steeper lie angle, whatever you want, more upright lie angle rather, and the wider sole helped me out greatly. And again, this thing throws me into complete confusion because from that situation, I'd have been expecting the nine iron to be the one that performs better and be easier to execute that type of shot. When in fact, it turned out it was the chipper. Now the one thing that the nine iron has undoubtedly in terms of uh, performance over the chipper is in a full swing, surely. So we're playing 152 on a par three. First shot you hear me, see me play rather, is with a nine iron. It's at the flag, did okay, and it finished. Well, it was one of them two balls there. And you know what surprise is coming next because the second ball is played with the chipper. You shouldn't be able to do this. It says it's not for full swings. We just played 152 yards into the flag and it's nearest to the pin. Yet yeah, the ball on the green is the ping chipper. I'm a bit surprised to say the least. Arguably maybe one swing was better than the other, but not what I ever expected in this test when it began that at a full distance that ping chipper would perform as well as it did. And there is one noticeable difference throughout every swing that I've played throughout this video. And I'm gonna tell you what that is right now. That difference is the weight of these heads and how it feels through the swing. Not only that full swing where it was more noticeable, but through those shorter shots as well. The ping chipper has a much heavier head weight. And to me, that keeps everything just that little bit more consistent. I love the feel of that. Not necessarily in that long shot, like I said, I know that's just a freak situation, but certainly through the short game, even though the nine eyes perform particularly well, the weight of the head just lets you swing it like a bit of a pendulum type feel. It stays very much low to the ground. It suits my chipping style at least anyway. And that is very much a noticeable difference between these two clubs. Right, the question in this video was, is the ping chipper overrated? My answer to that question is no, no it isn't. I think it's a really, really good club. The second part of this video was to find out whether or not you can use a nine iron to execute many of the shots that you can with the ping chipper. And the answer to that is also, yes you can. So why carry a ping chipper in the bag? Well, for me, the way these clubs differ is in terms of the way they sit at address being a real major difference, a major separator. And it being a positive in the sense of the ping is because you're almost put yourself in a position, a setup at address that is, you've got no argument or debate with it. You can, you, I have to manipulate the nine iron to get in the same position as that I find myself naturally in at address with the ping chipper. And I don't like having to do that. And yes, I can do it. And yes, we can execute the shots the same, but ultimately the ping chipper is very much a straightforward club where the lie angle is very much upright. It's almost like, as I've said in many of the videos that we've done, you're standing uh, addressing a putt and it's very, uh, easy to execute the same type of shot over and over again. And I don't think there are quite the variables that you find in inconsistencies that you find trying to execute the same shots with the nine iron. That's very much debatable, don't get me wrong, and I can understand why people can say they can execute these shots with the nine iron. But again, that wide width of sole coupled with that upright position make it almost foolproof, and don't get me wrong, you can make mistakes with it, but almost foolproof because it makes that uh, shot type very, very easy. We've already seen that it is one dimensional, in many ways, just in the same as a nine iron is one dimensional, they do the same things at the loft that they've got on them. I think again, it boils down to the individual and the confidence you've got at addressing your short game. But the ping chipper is a unique style of club. It's very much a different type of chipper. It's one that I said earlier, doesn't look like a chipper, so therefore it takes away a lot of the stigma in having one in your bag. And after a period of time and 
three, four months that I've actually been playing this club, I've got to say I've put the ball closer to the hole and holed out on more occasions than I have done in several seasons playing with whichever wedge I've had in, uh, in terms of choice of uh, option to play. I've just gone to this on almost every occasion I've got unless I need to really pop one up in the air then I've opted to play the ping chipper and like I said I've done extremely well with it and got really consistent with it and therefore for me it's not overrated it's a really really good club to have in the bag not for everybody but for a lot of golfers this will certainly help right I hope you enjoyed today's video I certainly did because it's a question that's been in my mind for many months and the ideal my scenario is I've got nine iron and I've got the ping chipper in the bag the question is which wedge or whatever club it is that you've got to drop out to include the chipper that's something you'd have to weigh up on a personal level. Right, I'm done. As ever, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.